Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and today we have Grounded and yes, update 1.2 is already out there. Let's take a look what we have there in patch notes. So before that, you already see they are mentioning it is 0.1.2, but in game you will see additionally 0.2215. So that's the full number you should be playing now. And release was already with the back, my apologies for delay, and as you can see, they're addressing right away what's the thing. Everyone wants to know, yes, my drums are growing, yes, Jews and Jews collector are working, yes, acorns are also back. So, let's take a look what the full patch notes are mentioning there. So, major issues, better handling of dismantling profile selection of Add the main menu on Xbox and Windows 10 Store version, which will help prevent save games from being missing from player on Xbox console and Windows 10 Store. So probably, maybe your save games, at least not restored, they will be less likely going missing. Also, fixed an issue where if you had Kill Mosquito Quest pre or for the patch 1.1 release, where it wasn't removed properly would crash if you kill the creature while that quest was active. So, as always, game is still in development. There was a patch fixing it, but it was not quite done correctly, so now it is. Also, fixed crash with approaching the base with traps that have an insect being damaged by one when the player arrives. And one more major issue result is issue that would cause random crashes with juice drops combining when approaching them. Yes, and huge frame per second lag spike as well. Now I've seen those uh, juice drops are working perfectly without any issues, so cool. That's not it, we have more. Game. Uh, they cleared out excess larva from game that still had large numbers of larva in their game from infinite larva response issue prior patch 0.1.1 cool there was a lot of um complaining that there was more than game can handle larva making sound making glitches frame drops everything so that should be resolved also they fix that drop all function that now should be working properly, splitting items. Okay, we'll see, because drop all, drop stack actually, I think that was called in-game, absolutely we had to have this functionality, otherwise dropping one by one item was ah, such a pain. So that should work properly. What else do we have here? Resolve an issue with macro gardens, Two collectors, acorns, and other resources not responding after their initial spawns. That included second level weeds. To be honest, I have really doubts about flower petals. The ones that spawn on the flowers you need to kick down. These were not spawning as well, but that's all gone. That's all history. Now everything should respawn how it should, okay? Also, reverting the chain from now to lock containers to one player at a time since it was causing containers to stay permanently locked occasionally. Alright? Reverting change. So now you should be able to access containers in multiplayer game. More than one player can access it. I understand. At least that's what patch note says. Okay. Also fixed an issue with slime mold scones not turning back on after loading back into the game so that leads leads me to some funny thing i actually stopped placing down those slime mold uh, these are latern latern decors in the game because they are turned off after some while and i thought they are for limited time only so apparently that's a bug so maybe i need to check them once again and one more last update is User interface removed customized marker from the loot backpack user interface that was causing crashes if used it was not so supposed to be in that screen available. So cool. Um, last thing, guys. Last thing I need to mention. Um, I will put down in the description both of these links. Uh, 
Obsidian Entertainment guys are absolutely thankful to everyone for the feedback. It's not like we are bashing the game. Game is awesome. We love it. And we help them to develop by reporting what are the issues. As I said in one of my videos and comments, we are tester and we are helping. If we deliver all the information, explanation, console or PC, where are we playing, what platform we gain the game from, so they can fully understand how the glitch happens and fix it sooner. So, being said that, um, they are mentioning First thing, when you have an issue, for example, the same uh, mushrooms not growing, that was really popular and everyone reported it. But they knew it already from the first report. So be aware there is such known issue list down in the description will be linked. So you can open up and you see use search if you're on PC. That's easier. Just control F and some keyword, for example, mushrooms or something. And you will see if such issue is already reported and being worked on right so it saves time for you to write for them to read for it's easier to understand if that's something new or that's already known issue okay and if still you have it there's another link um, you can fill the form in their support site that that's the link or you can write directly email if that's easier for you support at obsidian.net and there are four things they are kindly asking to include what platform you're playing and gaining the game, uh, multiplayer or single player, because there are different approaches, different issues. Third is description. Be precise, be short if you can. If you must, then of course explain a little bit more. And uh, last thing, if you can somehow understand, you think it's somehow tied with what you did before. So all those four things, and Obsidian and me, Thank you guys for reporting for awesome teamwork. Let's keep this thing running and we'll meet in the other videos and games. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.